you vote Democrat. The people that enslaved you. The people that kept you. Who does the KKK vote for today? Which party are they voting for? Yeah, we know the history of the KKK. Southern Democrats created a racist organization after the freeing of the slaves during the Reconstruction era to prevent the advancement of black people in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it all. Who are they voting for today? Which party? What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and this guy certainly gets it. I've heard talk that the GOP and MAGA Republicans really try and deflect their racism and bigotry with the history of the Democratic Party, but by also themselves being very much against a comprehensive teaching of history. You can see the irony in that. You may be able to see it, but they somehow cannot. Or maybe they can, and they deliberately pivot from one meaningless talking point to the next because progress and truth are evolving as a society, really as if no interest to them whatsoever because racism as a talking point is just that something that they are proud to use when it benefits them like the coded language on fox news and any trump rally but they say it's someone else that is actually being racist meanwhile the mention of critical race theory has these people up in arms shaking in their boots absolutely terrified of the thought that our history with slavery could be properly taught and conveyed to students you know what uh, let's just run through all of this uh, soho new york last night what is wrong with you? No. I didn't even come out. No, yeah. I don't know. Get out of here. No. no. Yeah, that guy felt super comfortable doing that, and he wasn't the only one. And if this point isn't strong enough on its own, I'll give you something stronger. The former leader of the KKK endorsed Donald Trump. Donald Trump said that the white nationalists in Charlottesville were fine people. Marjorie Greene has spoken at a rally with known fascist sympathizers and white nationalists. And those that still defend and support the criminals from January 6th conveniently failed to mention over and over that those people wore clothing that had phrasing of the 14 words and referencing the amount of Jewish people slaughtered during the Holocaust was, quote, not enough. University of Wisconsin had this guy show up dressed like literally as Hitler. Uh, but then in Jacksonville, Florida, last night in multiple locations, this happened. You know, I don't think they could have picked a font that makes them look more like clowns if they had tried. Uh, but they projected that in several locations, including the football stadium, where Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis was in attendance. Do you think he came out the next morning to condemn that? This close to the midterms? Alienate voters? Are you crazy? This is all out in the open. Yet Republican voters find themselves at the mercy of the twisted rhetoric that people on Fox and OAN throw at them, constantly believing that the MAGA GOP will somehow make their lives better by tearing down others. Words have consequences. That is what the GOP should have learned by now. But really, they know this and use it to their advantage. They have no real moral compass. They will say and do anything to remain in power and also, mind you, take things away from you and your family. They've successfully convinced an entire generation of people that Social Security and Medicare aren't worth the investment. But get this, those people will get old one day as well and rely on those programs, but it may be too late. The meaning of words like racism, woke, and facts have all been shaped to fit a narrative that they have sold very well to Republican voters. Their marketing is on point. You can give them that. But don't believe for one second it is good for the greater good. What have Republicans Republicans historically done to the same voters that love them so much. They cut their social programs. They tell them they're entitled and don't need any handouts, and they make life even harder. That is what they do. But not because they have to, but because they also have a plan to give tax breaks to people that need it the least. They're still desperately on board with trickle-down economics, knowing good and well it's never worked. And how about that free market capitalism that is supposed to reward good behavior? Don't see a lot of that happening either. Good marketing or not, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to accept the words of one party because you think that they have your best interest at heart. Because if it's a MAGA GOP member, I can go ahead and guess that they absolutely do not. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.